Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are gathered here today for uh, to remember. Ladies and America gentlemen, Olympia. gentlemen, gentlemen, boys, 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 and girls, we are gathered, gathered, gathered here today, 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 to listen, listen to the former man, formerly known as Game Hunter, Hunter, Hunter. Well, that's not. You just ruined. As the bit. monologues, slogs, slogs, slogs. What? You ruined the bit. That was not where I was going with that. Um. I can't even do it yeah, now. But I had a good bit. Yeah, when well, that wasn't the bit that I was trying to do. <laughs> well, you do the bit. No, I, th I don't know if I can do it now. Not now, like, I'm... You gotta do the bit. No, I don't think I can anymore. Is this the bit now? Yeah, this is the bit now. I was gonna say, we're gathered here today in remembrance of uh, Miracle's arm. This woman is now armless. Harmless, but not harmless. No, she's not. I think she's even more dangerous. <laughs> that girl, I, I gotta say, I think I said this too before when she first showed up. Um, I know why people like her so much. <laughs> she does not give up. <laughs> like, I hate to skip around, but it's like, Shigaraki was holding under her arm, and she decided, she had two options. <laughs> Either stay there, keep her arm, or get out of that grip and break her arm. She chose the latter. She just has, she's got tenacity. You gotta give her that. Like, I would say I'm not gonna acknowledge that, but I already just acknowledged it. That I saw it. We're just gonna move on. People are in, in pockets. What is he talking about? Not here. Not, not in the uh, scores. I just say, between me and apparently, went to that. By the way, I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, it, I guess it's true, but at the same, I don't know how women about that. But um, she does not give up. No, she. She has no arm. Well, she, I guess she still has the parts on her shoulder up to, to, to her, like her arm. Her arm. But like, she just broke up. There's a lot of here. There's actually a lot of heroes losing limbs here. Also, to point out too, this show began right with Deku breaking his limbs, right? Yeah. This show is nearing its end with the heroes breaking their limbs and in ways that don't seem to be able to be repaired unless eerie and heal but then again i wonder why she didn't do that for miracle she could have repaired her leg why um what's the character with that with the horn eerie Eerie. I don't know why he, Eerie just doesn't fix everybody. That's what I'm saying. Is like, there's a lot happening outside the podcast, folks. I apologize. Stop. Yeah, maybe she doesn't have control, or, or maybe she her quirk. She doesn't have control of her quirk to the point where she's able to regenerate limbs. Maybe Miracle said she didn't want to be. You want Eerie to to her? But you see, went with the, with the with the spatula amputee option. And also the machine gun thing. Um. Yeah, first episode pretty much begins with. Did you just say spatula amputee. You saw her leg right, the one that is, that isn't. For you me. just you just said a brand new sentence that no one's ever said before. Apparently it caught you off guard. That's a, a rare feat that I just pulled off. I... <laughs> Spatula amputee. What poetic words? That's the best I could come up with. Cause like her leg, her th her thigh. By the way, immaculate. By the way. <laughs> They're nice thighs. Her 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 immaculate. Like her whole entire her entire body. I was watching somebody who reacts to this and, you know, reacts to the show. 
and she said some words that are like I don't know how else we feel about these words but she first said that Miracle built different <laughs> because I don't know why, like, I don't know how I feel about that, but it's like, I don't know when I'm usually, when I'm usually thinking of, when I'm thinking about when I, when I say somebody's built different, at least when it comes to the female, I'm usually thinking of different, different things, obviously being male at the same time. It's like, I guess it's kind of true. She's not built like a normal human. I guess most people, I started thinking, like, I wonder, like, is her rabbit quirk just her kicking or is she like, or she like froppy in a way, like, you know, she has rabbit characters. I completely forgot what her quirk was. And I will look it up, but I'm afraid of seeing more than I want to see. That's the problem with looking up certain characters. You, you, you know, I don't think you can find anything about her quirk without finding out what happens to her. If anything happens to her, I don't. Like, I don't. I don't know. Anything. I don't want to. I don't want to look up trying to find out where her quirk is, and I end up finding out something else that I didn't. But um, her immaculate thighs, or her legs, whatever, like. There's a there, like, there's a cap off on her like where her knee was, um and then I guess to stop the bleeding down there, they attached a pretty sturdy implement down there that acts as a foot. It doesn't look like it's it should be all that sturdy, but apparently it. it I, mean, I guess she's just using it to move, because she's not kicking with it. But like that looks like a spatula to me. <laughs> like, they just took a they just took a spatula, bent it and. Then because Miracle's just that good, it doesn't what you give her. I'm, I'm gonna say before we continue this episode, like, I sure hope she survives this and somebody marry that woman. She's gonna need some help. Like, she lost two arms in a war and a leg. Okay. Imagine the good advice that someone can give her about using something more productive than a spatula for a foot. All I can think about is if she's a rabbit, like whoever she ends up with, there's gonna be a lot of kids. Just, just an FYI. <laughs> I don't apologize. <laughs> that was a rough one. I mean, nope, don't, don't resist the temptation. <laughs> they do a doggy style. Not that I'm saying she probably likes it rough. <laughs> rough. He right. comes off as the type of chick that like doesn't take any nonsense. And when she tells you to come, you better. <laughs> wow, she told me to come, but I was already there. Uh, okay, I guess enough of the really, really, <laughs> really crude humor that I'm going. I, like I started, I apologize, but um, it's all your fault. Yeah, I'm well aware. But like, back to like, I guess being serious here. I guess yeah, she is built differently because like. She's the only hero I think I've seen actually, well, besides Endeavor, who lost an arm earlier. I guess, by the way, move over, Endeavor. This chick literally just took off her own arm to kick Shigaraki in the face. Um. But yeah, it's like, someone... She and actually, like, he actually feels it, which, of course, surprises him that he would feel damage from being kicked in the face. I guess that's that just that apparently Bakugo, I guess Bakugo's damage was just an accumulation. It was, it was accumulating over time, I'm guessing. And it just finally broke through whatever his shield was. But, um, the episode first begins with Deku still trying to get to where everything, all the action's happening. And then the first user of One for All, the original guy, tells Deku that something's going on. He can feel off one getting stronger. Which that is a, that is a, there's a couple of things in this episode that kind of happened that completely, I'm like, what the hell? I guess one thing that kind of made me go, what the hell? Um, I don't know what's going on with Shigaraki's body, but apparently that thing is a living organism. It's basically what's going on. Like, I don't know what's, I don't know what's really going on with his body. I'm starting to think that Shigaraki is just the, it's just the brain inside of an, another person's body. Because essentially what it does to defend itself is give him hands around his face, his torso. Sort of like an extra hand rib cage. His legs. And then his arm is still an unmanageable mess. But instead of fingers, it's, he, just... it's like four faces or something, isn't it? 
No, I think it's no longer. It's just a fist. Just a giant mass of skin and flesh. But I guess before we get to that point, um, Shigaraki, like, deals, like, a, a damage to Muriel's ego. Which I didn't know was physically possible, considering how silly that man is. I'm just going through the clips right now. Like, wait a minute. Let me go back to Miracle really quick. That is a spooky image of Deku. Let me know. I forgot how scary Deku was during that arc. I didn't think it was possible. It was Deku scary. But you know, during the arc previously, when he was like going around being a vigilante, like there's just the look he has as a hero, just really well as a vigilante, which is really spooky. Like it, it, it looked more like a monster than anything else. And it's saying like I remember that I remember that look, and I remember it, you know it being. Oh shoot! It, I remember it being that stuff. Okay. I'm looking for Miracle's face, really, or being hung by. I guess Miracle losing limbs. I guess rabbits lose feet. Well, let me rephrase that. They don't lose feet. Humans come out and cut their feet off, but. I'm still amazed at like what Miracle's done. He cuts the rabbit's foot off. He'll give him good luck. Yeah, that's sorry. I get mesmerized by two orbs on Miracle's body. <laughs> oh my gosh. But seriously, this face is of a woman who has not given up. Look at that. Like, my God. Like, I compare her to Bakugo. Essentially, she's just a Bakugo on the field. Just random and no, like, random and um no like no one really knows what she's gonna do she kicked the several nomus in the face and destroyed them immediately it, like what she did like nobody talks about is like like what miracle did is amazing in and of itself but i think even with sheer strength she did something that all might couldn't do which is like punch a hole through a nomu i get that she she had a, she know their weaknesses too but like you think about that, like, my, All Might was only able to, like, really send the Nomu flying. But she was capable of at least taking them down. At least some of them, anyway. Before losing an arm. I mean, a leg, sorry. Wait, leg and arm. And apparently, we go from here, and just the, like, helplessness they're feeling with Shigaraki. And we get a little bit of a show of what's going on with Shoto and with Dobby. And he's got a giant flame aura around him along with the X flame on his chest. Now at first, when he said that he I, I mis I misinterpreted it, I had to actually reread what he had to say. And what Dobby had to say about what he, what he did before Shoto hit him with the ice. At first I thought he said he copied the ice cork. I'm like, how did he do that? <laughs> But I probably know what actually happened is he just copied Shoto's technique and like applied the flame center of his uh, body. So when the ice hit, I guess he was able to uh, fend off the effect of whatever that technique that Shoto did. And Seems like it still rampage. knocked him out for at least a minute. Huh? Seems like it knocked him out still for at least a minute, though. It didn't have I mean, no the effect. flame's still activated, though. Maybe he was still conscious enough that he. Now Dobby is like burning people to crisp. Apparently, I mean he's just burning a lot of people. Like that flame, man. Meanwhile, uh, one of the like sitting there, like in front of. Oh, Ida and Todoroki are here. I forgot that Ida was here. Now Dobby is looking for his old man and. Character who I completely forgot about, Skeptic, is called in for location information. I thought that was kind of crazy. It's also, especially with Skeptic hacking into all the you know technology around. Still, to me, he was trying to take down like the the floating gel and one. Is that just me? The floating gel. Yeah, the floating gel that Shigaraki's sitting in. I think I thought he was trying to take down a lot of the technology that they use. 
to trap the villains. Oh, the floating jail. I thought you said gel and I was really confused. Could you restate the, state the question now that I know what your words are saying? I bet I Skeptic it was, was trying to hack into all the technology in the floating jail that uh, Shigaraki was in. All the villains were, you know, being held in. But maybe I was mis in, uh, misunderstanding what he was trying to do. I didn't, it didn't occur to me that he was hacking into the jail. I thought he was hacking into like, I thought it was like a side plot going on where he was hacking into a greater system. But it probably is. You could easily be that. And just never crossed my mind for some reason. This genius is gonna unnaturally like. Yeah, he does. His shoulders That's are so far away from his face. What do you want to say? He's just a little weird anyway, but he's still, I still think he's kind of a cool hero. And that's, that's not arguing that he ain't cool. It's just that this, this is such a weird fashion statement. <laughs> I guess it's because of his body and how it's built. But it's like, you know, I guess th this world is just really weird to me. Cause like you got people like best genius running around and because they look human, nobody really thinks twice about it. But if you have like a, a hinge, an inch of like animal appearance at all, you know, get, uh, it looks like it may just, might, it might not be, it might not be furry animals that, cause like our animals that, cause like Froppy, I don't think Froppy gets it and neither does, uh, Goji. Maybe it's just, maybe it's just the people who gain insect appearances. And then Spinner, who has lizard appearance. I think it's just really weird that everybody else gets hate, but it's like, you know, best genius can walk around and he, he's got this long neck like a giraffe. Yeah, that is weird. Me meanwhile, uh, as Dobby is doing all this and Skeptic is talking and doing his monologue, we, we go back to like the uh safe no zone pants, where the family no pants every ride must be a, like a nightmare for him what? the no pants subway ride would be like a nightmare for him we go back to the safe zone where, uh where all the hero's parents and family are staying and we get a little we get a little bit of like what's going on with them like deku and deku's mother and bakio's mother are, are like i guess together i guess the i guess because they're friends and whatnot talking to each other then we also see, you know, Shoto's family, his mother, his father, uh, his mother, older brother, and his older sister. Um, I gotta say, it's I know this probably just, just makes him upset. Um, you know, his Atsu, I think is his name. He really does look like his father, kind of, just with the white hair. Really freaking weird. Meanwhile, the sister here has got like red, just dotted. Like, is that much red as I thought they would have been? Real. They seem to have more ice than fire. Well, that's obvious. I have a nice. I was like, she's got like, he's got nothing of his father's like red hair in him that I can see. Because he dyed it. Um. Meanwhile, the sister over here. It's even kind of the same thing with Dobby. Like Dobby's got white hair, but he has a fire corp. No yeah, that's that. weird. That is weird. There's not thought about that. But then like like, like the older sister, like she's got like red. The thing is, like I feel like there would have been more red in her hair. But based on this, this is not. She's just got red stains. I don't know. I don't know if I really. I like her as a character, but this design, I'm actually looking at it. I almost wish that her the tips of her hair were actually red versus where they put the red. I feel like her design was like a last minute thing, I'm guessing. <coughs> 
I don't know. I can't really tell. I don't know what Hiroshi was thinking. But she definitely looks like her mother, and so does he. He's got like some of his father in him. Tell that. It'd be also possible that maybe she dyed her hair red and just that stained. I have no idea. Yeah, they're like, they're at like, I guess like the, uh, the, the uh, Todorokis are like, uh, just watching everything that's going on inside, inside the city. Um, I thought it was kind of cool that, uh, oh, that must be a best genus fanboy. Uh, but here, this is obviously Bakugo's fan. <laughs> I thought it was kind of a cool little like different a like, little bit of information or world building that did that I didn't necessarily need to know, but it's cool that you know some of these kids got like fans of them already. They're not even really doing pro hero work yet. Except for him though, I think this is this has gotta be best genius. Looks too much like him. But over here, um uh, East Point is like they're just cheering on like the student, the student heroes, saying you know they're gonna win and whatnot. Then me a lot of these got these two traders over here, which I honestly thought when they were brought in early in the season, I thought they were gonna do anything. And I am guessing that like at some point it's gonna be revealed that there are traders among them. Also, what a way to hold your phone, lady. It's clawing it. What's going on here? <laughs> like, seriously, like that cannot be comfortable. Like, let me grab my phone and hold it like. Wait. It's not uncomfortable. It's just really freaking weird. Just clawing it. I'm like, phone call like this. Is your phone upside. It's a black screen. I can't tell. Well, the black screen is just because they don't want to animate it. Yeah, I'm all aware of that. It's just... Such a weird. That's a... it's such a small, dumb thing, but I just noticed it. Like, I'm wondering if the if bones just did that on purpose. It's possible that maybe this wasn't even in the manga. I have no idea. Sometimes the animators like to put things in there that weren't a part of the manga, like um, you know, Nijiri, the girl with the with the early powers and whatnot. Um, part of Big Three. Uh, apparently, her backstory that they showed us in the in the anime was not in the manga. That was extended. If they did that, if they did in the anime. That was not in the manga. But I'm guessing the creator probably had that in the back in the back of their mind or whatever, and they just didn't get a chance to do it. That makes sense. And then we cut we cut away from the traders to. I would say the main event of the episode, well, first of two main events. Um, cut back to when All for One is the bullet on himself to regenerate, and we also get information that uh, makes some of this make sense about like first of all why All for One didn't use it to begin with. At first, it, it, it made it he made it seem like he just he didn't think Endeavor was going to be a problem. A part of me really does believe that he just didn't think he was going to have to use it against Endeavor. I don't know who he thought he was gonna have to use it against. Maybe he thought he was gonna fight Deku, but um, he had to use it to survive against Endeavor. Uh, but actually, the real reason why he he used it now and didn't use it before, this is gonna kill him. I thought it was interesting. Oh, so they managed to make a reverse bullet that's just gonna reverse him back to nothing. So it was a suicide play, basically. But but maybe that's what it really was, because, you know, I mean, like, if he used it now, that means he had no choice but to use it. Which makes sense to, to why he hasn't used it in the past. It's, it's, it's going to continuously rewind him. And when I heard that, I was like, are you kidding? So this is just going to screw it up. But unfortunately, because he's back to his prime now, he can do everything he wants to do. So. Yeah, he's got everything tidy. It Did he? Like he still has the plan to leave Shigaraki alone. I guess you were right about the whole him leaving Shigaraki alone. I thought he gave up on that point a time ago, which still confuses me. Well, continue with what to say. 
probably continue with my continuous. Did he, um, when he grabs somebody on the ground, right after he turns north, like, remember, like, how he grabs her and puts his hand over, and, like, they come, Hawks comes by and swims with his sword? Was he stealing her quirk? Yep. That's my suspicion, anyway. I don't Did know he what he... Did he succeed in it? Huh? I couldn't tell if he succeeded. Probably did. He took her cape. It's around 9.35. Not I couldn't see, tell not if he what he says it. during it or something like that or after. Like, did he get it or not? And what is her quirk if he did? To get a chance here. It doesn't even make reference to, like, I guess I'm suspecting that he must have taken it from her. Because she's, like, out. She's out when Hawks takes her out from the trip. Yeah, I couldn't tell if Hawks interrupted it in time or not. She's out, but then she, not much longer after that, she's up and kind of, like, looking at her hands. I'm guessing she must have realized her power isn't there. I wonder which power it was. Off for one usually only takes really good quirks. Like, at this point, it doesn't really matter because he's just gonna die. He well, it doesn't matter to this person. point. On top it of doesn't that, matter to the person who's quirky still. Huh? It doesn't matter to the person who's quirky still. It does or doesn't what? It matters to the person whose quirk was stolen. I mean, that makes sense, but I, 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 I just, like, I mean, on top of that, again, all for one could have saw all these people on the on the ground's powers and probably already, like, singled her out. I mean, it's possible if it's definitely a good quirk, he already saw her use it. Yeah, I was curious if you, if you remembered what quirk it was or anything like that. I don't think it was ever shown, because I don't, I don't remember her at all. I don't, she doesn't look like a hero I've seen before. No, she looks a little bit... She reminds me a little bit of her Uraka. Anyway, I was just curious about that. You can go on with your stuff. I didn't I didn't know, so I was curious if you knew. No, I don't know. I suspect she. he's got it, because, I mean, those, that's the face of, like, I don't have my power anymore. Yeah. Uh, I had it like I was confused. I was doing like I really forgot what what my confusion was. Probably didn't matter. Probably didn't need. But like uh like, all for one is crazy. And really freaking powerful. He's capable of moving pretty fast. It explains why all uh, what all my had trouble with him. Yeah. Man, that eye there. He's just. You know, I guess I had to. I guess I had to say this now. Like, I guess I, I spent all this time like wondering what he looked like, and to actually see him, I'm not impressed. I'm not disappointed. I don't know. If really, I feel like I'm a little disappointed. I mean, this mastermind was so extraordinary just to have such an ordinary face. I don't know. I, I, I guess I was like. I was like, what were you expecting? The guy was a normal guy with just powers, but he looks so bored here, it's not even funny. Well, he is bored now. He's completely controls the situation now that now that he's in this mode. I do like the glow though of Aries Quirk still like on him, like on his face. On Reminding you that he's still it gives him still going in reverse. Yeah, that too, but also kind of gives him like a guy like appearance. Yeah. With that and the white hair, but, you know, he really gives him kind of like a guy. So you're contradicting yourself now. He is kind of cool. Huh? What? You're contradicting yourself now. He does look kind of cool.
Don't full contradictions today. Take how about that? Uh, um, after that moment and everything, after he reveals what he wants, which I feel like I, like what he wish, the all for one wishes for, which is, it's not gonna keep everyone in the in the world from the futures. This is a very confusing statement. Like he wants to keep the world, I guess, the way it is. I guess. It, it, like his his motivation seems really weird, but I'm guessing really it's like. Yeah, Shigaraki. He's Shigaraki's doing everything he wants him to do. Oh, that's what I wanted to be confused about. Last time we were talking about this, I think it was two weeks ago at this point, we bring up that like all for one was training Shigaraki and potentially moving him. I fought against the idea because it didn't make sense. But it looks like here you were right that he's still intending to, I guess, to leave Shigaraki on his own. But I'm so confused at everything that's going on because it's like. Hey, Stella. I thought the raid was okay. Hey, Eliza Bar. No, no that was late to late. Late. Long time no see, Eliza Bar. Number one. Wait for the second one to play. Gotten me. I could be wrong. Uh, thank you for the raid, Ella and Eliza Bar. You're just in the middle of talking about my Hero Academia in episode uh, 50. So, um, yeah, that's what I was. I'm very confused because I I know you believed that all for one was just gonna. You know, his plan was to eventually just completely die off and leave the Rocky alone. Well, it looks like that plan. If that is really his plan, he's doing it now. But what I'm very confused is with isn't isn't all for one somewhere in Shigaraki's per, uh, his mind? Yeah, he does not. Over? So I'm he very confused. Make... He doesn't have to, um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Sorry, I built my fault. He, do he doesn't have to advertise that, though, what his, what his plan all along is. He's just got to, like, keep it going. So why would, it doesn't really benefit him to tell them what he's trying, what he's really doing. But don't the heroes know that he's trying to take over Shigaraki's body, though? They know something's up. They don't know that, they don't know exactly what or what his plan is. I mean, how could you know? I guess I, I guess I, I guess I'm just trying to figure it out before he, he you know, it comes out. It's just... I know what's going on. I still don't know what's going on. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. I don't know how he actually does this with his quirk. Oh, what do you mean, like the transfer of his? Of his uh, I think that might be the doctor. The transference of his consciousness. Yeah, like I don't know how. Doctor. He... Well, still, team. like I don't know, I don't know how they do that in within, within universe rules and stuff like that. Like I don't know how he made it happen. He just I don't did. think it really needs to be explained. It, the universe got supernatural abilities, and it. Doctor apparently has figured out how this works. I still don't like how his explanation. I think his explanation is stupid. Whatever, we have already we've already beat. Well, I've, I've already beat. Right, John. To this, already beat. I'm always up for. A I'm always a, up for an equestrian beatdown. I've, I've already beaten my issue with the doubt. But like, so, I mean, at the same time, I was like, I, I don't think really needs an explanation. I think he's just like, he's, he knows everything. Because, I mean, they turned Ares' quirk into a liquid. And he refined it. But that's weird in and of itself. Turn to right. turn something that's technically physical thing. He gave it physical form and it turned into a liquid. Goes it now inside him, bursting everything. Are you going to give more technical up to how does a racer's quirk work? I thought I brought this up too. Like how does how does a racer's quirk work? I don't I don't like, I don't I don't understand how it turns off. Something. It's got to be doing something biological level. 
to the people he looks at. Mm -hmm. like, like, only that I can think is like Eraser's quirk is currently not accurate. Whatever is going on with Shigaraki's body. Quirk that Speaking of Shigaraki's body, I'm starting to think that thing's its own organism. Because the way they explain his how his defense mechanism, I'm very. I, I I gotta I gotta say it's freaking we're, we're reaching in the point the point of what in the world is really going on here. <laughs> yeah. I mean, for for me, I mean, well, if I reached that epitome a long time ago, but I've been there for a while. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying. Like now, I'm getting to the point when the hands came out for coming going over his body. I'm like, on oh, now, like why is his body got to be an organism? But it's um. Back to the episode. After everything going on with uh, all for one, because we're going everywhere, except for Uraraka and Apiar, I'm getting concerned. Going everywhere but where they are right now. I'm very confused. Um, we apparently come to the United States of America specifically to see in the Oval Office. I guess to kind of support how accurate. I guess it's, I guess it's no secret what it looks like, but it's still kind of shocking how this is. He's been in there. At the president, they're discussing, the United States is discussing with it. And essentially saying that you gotta get on his good side. Tell us. Meanwhile, like, this guy, Akbar. Obviously, a reference. Uh, Saying that we can't, we don't give in a terrorist. Basically, says that like you're doing, doing, avoid all the help and but it kind of shows like what they what the United States is like for one hero and Ed. And I guess I'm saying this this bit was not necessary, but I'm actually I, I appreciate that they. I'm just bringing up like how like burn strike did the groundwork. Then the next next piece of it go back to Bakugo. That's genus trying to get suture lung and heart. It's to no fail. Ed shot approaches him. I gotta say, um, one, I didn't know Ed shot had a mustache. <laughs> um, a lot of, there's like a lot of revelations, and also Ed shot's really bloody. I don't even remember he got hit. He must have got a hit in the aftermath. Shigaraki, I'm gonna sugar up. Ed Shaw says, and apparently, because he's been inside the, inside the human, that more of. I guess like makes sense. I mean, but did go inside bodies and frame people. Interesting. I don't know what the laws of physics. Body. Is. Going into super. He's going to sing while he does this. He yells at Miracle. Got to win. And Miracle, as we already discussed, loses an arm trying to trying to win this fight. And our Shigaraki doesn't think Miracle was. Did she lose an arm, or did she like just lose like one of her prosthetics? No, that was her arm. Her prosthetic was a gun. Shigaraki didn't grab that. That stinks. Yeah, she didn't. That's why I was thrown off for a second. It's like she did barely even notice. She's lost an arm before, so I'm guessing this is nothing new. And then after that, we have like we have a little flashback. This is where I sit there and say, "Wait a minute, Ed Shot and Best Genus know each other." <laughs> 
Well, they've got to be at least aware of each other. They're, they're both top ten heroes. No, that is that. They went to the... They were friends in school. That is what caught me off guard. I was not expecting that. Them knowing each other, that's that, that's totally normal. But that actually went to a personal way. He even called Best Genius Friday President. Here, Best Genius kept it awkward. So it's not really, it doesn't really look like he has a neck. Like he's got a normal neck. Like he's got a collar. Over. And this is some great fashion. Also, the tie. The tie is around his. Yeah, he needs to think about his life choices. There's one sure file. That's the way to do it. I'm not saying to do this, anybody. Don't do doing here. Unless you're cosplaying, that's you know. Then, I guess. Be careful. Then he bars. Oh, hanging bars. But then, like, Edge shot goes inside Bakio's. That's a good image of what Miracle used to be. Sorry, I got messed with. <laughs> that's all right. Um, but uh, Edge Shot literally has his mo apparently doing what he's going to do, gonna you know, pretty much kill him again. Heroes do things to get or get themselves. Proving Stain wrong again and again and again. I guess but they have to now because all for all might really cared a lot of it after they didn't need to do anything all might took care of it all yeah like uh headshot goes in the body best unit the heart but then too so he played the switch the heart i mean the giving him kind of resuscitate I guess like heart power, heart compressions. He's doing a much finer job than uh, Best Genus was doing. Much more capable of doing it, but it's going to kill him. Are you looking at Discord? Is that why you're quiet? Visually, he does he, while he's trying to do that inside box. The Garaki sees this. Look, yeah, the uh, um, wait a minute. She still got her arm. What did she break? That's what I meant. I didn't think she lost an arm, I thought she lost a prosthetic. Wait, I'm sorry. I gotta rewatch when she did. What the heck? Oh, look at that. There's blood. There's blood coming from that arm. Um... Yeah, they have her animated here that she lost her arm. The time signature on that, I can't see in that little box. Oh. Oh yeah, they did. And 
I made it hurt. Anybody else? No comments down. Genus is in so much trouble in this by the end of this fight. Well, she kicks him in the face and he. Oh, they're coming for another. About the move. And he, he staggered a little bit. Grabs the part of his face. Feeling pain. Out in time. <laughs> And he realizes the moment that Bakugo was uh, feeling fear as well. He was very uh, upset about everything. Afraid. Afraid of it. By the way, complete versus everything. He I'll note about this too is how um, Shigaraki repeatedly ignores Miriko. Is that his name? The uh, the million Mario. The uh, yeah. Going to the... yeah. Hey, the million. I didn't know what his real name was. I thought it was Mario or something. Mario. Well, anyway, like his ego is being crushed in this fight, like systematically by repeatedly being ignored. I mean, he builds himself up pretty good. Like, you know, I'm going to save a million lives. And, you know, and he was like second choice for All Might, you know what I mean, to become the next, like, symbol of peace and everything else. And he's the head of his school. But, like, he's fighting this guy and he's being completely ignored by him. And you're seeing the same type of thing that happened with Bakugo where, like, Bakugo, like, um... Sorry, I was looking at something I want to show you in a minute. Bakugo had the same type of thing where he was like, he fancied himself of being Deku's rival and everything else. And then like, he got crushed over the course of the episode. Like his character was crushed just as much as his body by realizing that like, he doesn't hold up against ba Deku at all. So you're seeing them like kind of like being put in their place in a way that like really bothers them. I mean, like Shigaraki keeps real enough. Eventually, it gets Ariel to so much. Rocky will before that really quick. You no, know, like uh, causes Shigaraki's mode to change. Well, for the and another ball in him causes him. Again, this is like where the, the, even like the narrative, we love the narrative coming in at very important times and actually going. And he's Rocky body taking on a it will attack them all. All about it. Apparently, his body is no control with his body. I'm starting to wonder if his body is an organism. I was taking on forms to allow him to fight easily. Experiment him. I'm pretty sure it's a doctor. Is and that doesn't work anymore. Body, body design. Protective. And when I first saw him do it, that's. First show. Creepier. All these hands. Oh. Sorry. Think about. Oh. Out <laughs> of fingers everywhere. Oh, that's. Oh, dear. In here. I always like turns the table and. By the way, this scene does not have her hand. 
Oh, both. That's gotta be a spy. Anybody? <laughs> gotta be. Then, like, a uh, rocket is. Giant Hulk, like. Like, destroying everybody. Mirio doesn't, ma doesn't matter to him. Mirio's got the space, like. Mirio's trying to figure out what he's Rocky now, trying to stop. Best genus. That from bringing back. Walking towards Mirio's. That is ego. I gotta do something. Mirio has the. AI. That back. Part of like motivation. Essentially, Mario does the only thing he can do. Yeah. But an unexpected. Uh, he goes to the floor, pops right up in front. Meanwhile, uh, that's the. Telepathic power, saying that she's gonna bring down the barrier for us. All this happens, and Mario's like, "I gotta stop him." That much. Underneath, pops up, pops out his booty. Apparently, which causes Rocket to so just sit there and go, "What?" And then Mario comes down. Deku shows up and he's into her. But he shows up. Deku Comes kind of crashing through. Can you jump to um, 1853 for a second? I'll send you a screenshot too. I'm curious what you make of the four faces that come out of his hands, or five probably faces that come out of his arm. They don't look like the faces are him. They look like the faces are like characters. I wondered if they were connected to the, the quirks he stole. Them is his father. One, one directly. I guess you could. Oh, it's, they could be his family? Probably his family. That's creepy. Hold them all. Yeah. Father. One of them kind of looks like Majin Buu for a minute. If you want this, I don't. Know. Dude, one of them is his grandmother. I don't know. Alrighty, let's go. Here's Majin Buu. <laughs> um, guess what? Part two. Bak Deku's and the Baku was like. Credits. The next level. Fortunately, I do it. I can game yet. 
I'm gonna realize it. For the damage. I won't. I won't be able to. Um, down the dragon print. So now, brought up last time. How do you end? How do you end? This is awesome. After Soren, yeah, we pretty much like other characters I forgot about episode. The black guy? Black, black guy. Other character that the I guess that, that hurt right girl. I was seeing that. Happy to see him. brings the Apparently he's a good tracker, so With that we go Sun Elf. That starts having Earl panic. It was a traitor among those out in this whole whole leg. You know the council hiding them right in their ass. All the council is able to Day is at the map. You say, like, you know, it's taking off the crown. It's just that one of the councils is afraid. Prince calls the council. Again, all, I guess, all. Brother Lil. Brothers. Seen in there with a deaf character. I forget her name. Do you remember it? Oh, the Alan's on. Comes up to give her some words of wisdom and she turns around and says, What do you know? You're not a queen. But, like, if you're married to a queen, you're either a king or a queen yourself, depending on your gender. They're not married. Yeah, but she's going to be a queen. I'm more thinking about uh, sister Ed. Yeah. Kind of. At least she knows what it is. I think she's very upset. It's understandable. I'm like, but at the moment. Me. I just asked Chat GPT. Ah, yeah. Yeah. She has some like sign language that she says to her 
at one point that like the translator's not there to say it out loud and I'd, I'd love to have like a resource where I could find out all those all of her sign language that she says that doesn't have a direct translation for us to hear I think they'd I don't know. Sign, sign, sign language is like a whole language. It's not just an alphabet. Or that. I think it'll be faster than actually talking. I'm not, like, I'm not trying to like... Hold... What not. Hold thing. Important as thing. It's just all that, I mean, signing in this, signing up. I guess I shouldn't. That'd be a Symbol sign. Finds what I saw her with. Not crash land. You have that little. Oh, to do. Really, like, that was falling in my. That apparently. The One must or in like we have like, like that apparently soaring that's nothing Come to an end. This is a little point to it. Them is like looking. Graphic. Ezra. I thought that was kind of. Them and Ezra. Them's got more. It makes Ezra's powers more like mysterious to me too, because we've never seen them communicate at such great distances. So I'm like, wow, that's a that subtle magic that Ezra has is like really interesting. It'd just be a bot. Yeah, it could it could be a bond they share through his like magic being amplified, but still interesting because like they were able to say very specific things to each other, not just sense each other or be aware of each other or something like that, or know their feelings, but like they were saying specific words to each other and communicating with like sentences that like went across like telepathically. Like that was like pretty sophisticated extent of the skill for such long distance, so I wonder if we see that ability used that way in some important, like, context in the future. I won't say that the possibility isn't there. I just... I don't want to assume it's magic. I'm going to get in this... Saying that in saying, and I realized saying that they bonded with kind of like that's very super. This room can communicate something there. I, 
I, I'm very hesitant to call it magic. Ezrin can communicate with more animals than just Zim. Before or attached or after Zim? Before Zim. Before Zim. He says he's always been able to do it. Again, I don't have a good reason. The worst part. We'll call it a quirk then. I'm not getting into this. That's a quirk and that's a quirk right now. <laughs> that's a that's a that's a hole that I'm not going to be diving into because I already know what Marty and oh don't brain quirk don't look back. <laughs> I almost walked into it. Dang it. Okay. Uh, sorry. Is you want to walk into it too? That's the thing. Yeah, I'm resisting. I'm resisting really hard right now. You can tell you really appreciate. It. <laughs> but um yeah like <coughs> as they're looking for these still the signs and one like where you know where uh what's her name like what's the dragon's name he had it last episode right and i got it again As they were looking for a Zube. Um, came to my mind. As, as it, name is Raya. Zim's mother is named Raya. I'm seeing Zube. In Dragon Prince, Zim's mother is named Raya, according to Chad GBT. You're wrong. Let me, let, me see if, let me see if Gemini says the same thing. Queen Zubeya, you're right. Chad GPT is wrong. I'm actually kind of curious if there's another Zim. And there's another character named Zim. Okay, uh, after that, if they're still searching for Zubeya, back to someone else. Queen. Before it looked like she was trying to hold back emotion. Council. On. Hold back her too. I was crying a little bit. Here's turned to rage and feel on fire. That was interesting. I was like, so far that these have the power and great in control of fire. She's very oh, unstable. Huh? She's very unstable right now. I mean, yeah, she had her brother. I thought she proved that she couldn't. Kind of like rightfully, so. I'm just starting to get. I'm just starting to get the idea that it's, like maybe their magic. I on. Let me in air bend, in the last. Maybe it's bend, not magic. Bend. Maybe it's just the natural abilities of their body. But whatever is it? I mean, like if they were hypothetically able to grow like giant masses of fingers out of nowhere. Why does it have to be magic? It could just be their body adapting. Not gonna bait me. What are you trying to do? <laughs> what are you trying to do? Not gonna bait. Me. Again, Dragon Prince, they have special. What is it? At least with the Sunfire Row, they're really prone with their emotions unnoticed. Specifically, this hero with rage. I mean, she's setting the. Or some I cannot. Uh, 
setting the tree on fire, and as apparently Maya shows up just in time, she sets the entire place off her. I find it interesting. She kind of just ran in there, grabbed her back here. Stopped her from being a mad, mad woman, basically. Let me switch back from that scene, like to the last place. Yeah, there's like mushrooms everywhere. Found this is where. I'm gonna find the mushrooms. Stop right. For instance, the idea is that they just mushrooms. The also, trap. A funny thing happens here. At work. Mushrooms. They really want to eat the random mushrooms. I find it funny that he tells Sora to drop it and then walks off, but then for the last second he's two hat. I'm like, wait, hat did hat just. I can't believe it. Gardening. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm sorry. It's just like I'm still like reeling from. <laughs> I have a character named. Let that wash over. The rest of the night. There's a character named. Pat. Yeah, I'm considering the type of characters. I've been numb. Personalities. I've been numb since Sparkle Puff, but that's just me. I think that's fine. Oh, the ring. Sparkle Puff? I think that's fine. Mr. Sparkle Puff. Yes, I think that's fine. What about what I'm saying? After that, they realize they're going to... And then we come right back to... And essentially, Amaya has... Hail... Of a um, tell of a good friend of just tell of it, telling the tell. I guess much like her, everyone on one, hopefully, parts only for um, dying, they're not dying, but like. I think I can trust anybody, so I guess the kingdom just burst. He lost his entire kingdom. First, he lost everything that he could do. Then later on, life vanishes. Which, I guess, like, you know. Yeah, I feel like I have for warrior. She she has a lot of she has a lot of you wonder like what kind of woman yeah speaking of family uh we come to the other raid not really cool some of the kingdom actually followed him out desert where he life rock Brought him this, and in this scene, he's holding the gate. His life says, "Careful, not to How fortunate." That was like a weird wording. It was like, and we find out he's gonna he's gonna try to restore the dragon that lost all. His He would be. He's gonna find him. Life in him. I guess level. It's like. That scene. 
holding the Girl, I wake up so only for one of the mush all the mush all direct one of them's alive trickster I so they're gonna probably make a boy out of this. Budgie, Chubby's already haven't made it. Found the name for that um, black tracker, Corvus. Oh, by the word. Didn't really. I was trying to think of my best way to describe him without. No, I get it. I'm that's not, I'm not really that's saying, how I put it. To... Me. I, feel like, I think a part of me is like, I feel like I should have. Right part of the. Let it go. It's interesting. It's Corvus is also a name of a bird. I believe it. It's like similar to like a crow or a raven. Okay, so they're talking to this. I guess we were talking about language earlier. Orange and sign. Tell this little carriage first. At first, he scares them. And he wrote them. Follow me. Guy. Quick, by the way, that they're running through the woods, Corvus on back. They are, uh, and they end, they end up following the road. Look, that just stops in the middle. Turn around, there's a giant mushroom. By the way, this entire area looks like it came out of me. Look, like one of those areas that mushroom kind of reminds me. Right in the way. Giant I mean, Totoro. It reminded me of the of the uh, Miyazaki film My Neighbor Totoro. Put a picture of Totoro in the uh, in the Discord. I don't see. I guess I just know. Uh, it's a children's I movie. I know. No, like really for children, it's a movie. So I wouldn't get. I, w I mean, I'll, I would watch it, but I'm just giving you a heads up that it's definitely for children. That's a bad thing, by the way, for some of the sense. Um, as on this giant mushroom, mushroom knocks them out. They wake up later. <sighs> Mushrooms. Oh, they get knocked out. Come Is back. Is that no mushrooms? Episode. Episode. It's trying to, it's trying to like, go live. I appreciate it. Come back. It doesn't even do anything with Claudia. It's not yeah. like how this, it's got so much going on that, like, it doesn't even have time for Claudia. She had her time in it. She had her time to shine. Come back to uh, 
Hi. Hi, we can come back to talking with him. That's just cool. I want to go find the story you told, told her about and found it from somebody that was around from there. I thought that was interesting that you know, apparently so somebody was able to get the thing. the fact that everything you said sorry brought up. He ends up banishing his guy is like, you know, hold you know, hugs her ever that point was nice thing is that you know capable of personal I had to find a, had to find a better picture of him. All of them, I had. We come back, so Soren, the gang are now mushrooms. Big mushrooms. Don't wear a hat, apparently. Oh, but the, the giant mushrooms guy. Actually, this damn mushroom must be off. Oh, that's a good one. Seeing that, right? I can see it. I didn't even notice that. I'm still going with Totoro, but it looks Totoro inspired to me. Um, then, you know, like, the whole, uh, mushroom elf dude. Put it back on. And all Soren has to say is, like, put it back on. I was like, it looks stylish and hat, but not the great of him. I was like, yeah. Elf guy brings them. They're probably looking for they're getting bring clear. Healing right now. Can't really do it. Back to like being her. He looks. Where he eats it and becomes small. Go back. Again, we are switching back and forth so quickly. In places, come back to the fun. And they have that like juxtaposition where they have the two different speeches and you can hear the different qualities of them. Ajinaiz is really humble and like humble and like personal and optimistic and idealistic and in a positive, gentle way. And then the other guy's is like harsh and like idealist idealist and extreme and kind of like militant kind of feeling and like very harsh by comparison. But still but still inspirational, he's still a good leader. Like, still a talented leader, I should say, not a good leader. Well, I mean, he the fact that he doesn't want to bring an end. How's it right? He doesn't really. He says it in private. He doesn't, like, announce it to his army or anything. He says it in private to his partner. He doesn't announce it in to the army or anything. Uh, yeah, I mean, I wasn't really saying that he's saying it to them. It seems we're, we're having another situation. Somebody has have this like be happy, and like they, they'll do anything half to change. Dark magic, which better. Falling left, like he's going down a half, and or he and a worse than. I guess it's something.
you can see like the very split now. They have the people. At their speed. Them looking. The the mage is. Sitting there. That was kind of. The mushroom. Gonna carry. Because his ears aren't playing. I guess they're kind of playing. Definitely a lot. Could just be some other fairy creature. We don't know that they're all elves, for sure. You're not wrong, I just... Full of faith. He's learning magic. Just from people. Yeah, apparently, they had to throw this in here because they weren't... It was apparently a mushroom that... All the... Ashes. Really wanted to fit that in there, did that in there. Zim East Zim East. Yeah, but look. Really Zim's moments here I've noticed for character doesn't really it there's a lot of like Ocean that felt making animal growling like a dog. Yeah. While the mother yeah. is able to do. Yeah, yeah, I completely agree with you. Very uh, like again with the whole idea that character like really happy to. See Another thing too is that you and keep it. The bay is fucked down. Then we get strong. Regular giant. I did. I was like, I was thinking about that as I was. His mother. Yeah, and the first thing the mother says is, "You've grown. I can see it." And I'm like, dude. <laughs> Gotta do it, but then like you know, the bay has like, she, you know, Zim's trying to get her to. I can't, feel healing, from like the bite that. Then she looks, loves it to her. Even brings the fact that, is. You want know, the, the whole idea of family. Doesn't end. And I was like, you know, I'm actually kind of wondering, but no. Basically, she's all healed. Looks better, though. Yeah. Right up that you know there. I guess it might just be because she's old. She's elven. Like he is. Actually, now I'm looking at it. Taller than. Taller than. Good, like close to a foot, isn't it? 
I guess I don't know. It's like it's just definitely taller than her. I was very shocked by this height comparison. I'm pretty sure how it's just. That's a like you're like gee, that's like, there's nothing there's nothing wrong with that. Those kind of height difference characters I don't think are common. I bet it's here is like oh really just different. But here besides the height the height hold off on. Yeah, that was kind of nice though. Okay. This is the the whole reason why brother is on. Doesn't trust me. I'm not sure. I, I guess it kind of ends. I mean, this last bit right here is kind of just. Uh, you know, Zim is looking. Or, uh, Corvus is on top of Hat. I think I Hat felt laughing. It was a feel good kind of episode. I mean, it, a lot of it was a feel good kind of episode. Yeah, I'll get one last thing. Come back to Rayla and. Tom's looking. Let me tell you, he's in love. He's just in here. I guess I'm down for. Also, looking at this block back. Helping him. I was a good. Okay, so we are like a little. Here, thank you guys for. Guys, thanks. It's a little. I get friends. Break it again. Cool. It's a cliffhanger. I would love to be able to see it. Yeah, right. Yes, we could.